The Prophet ﷺ said to us in a beautiful hadith, Inna Iblisa yad'u arshahu ala al-ma' thumma yab'athu sarayah fa'adnahum minhu manzilah a'zamuhum fitnah fayajiru ahaduhum wa yakul fa'altu kada wa kada fayakulu lahu Iblis ma sana'ta shay'a thumma yajiru ahaduhum fayakul ما تركته حتى فرقت بينه وبين مرأته فيدنيه منه إبليس ويقول نعمة أنت إبليس عليه ما يستحق من الله sets his throne on the sea and from there he sends out his troops his army his soldiers the devils to tempt mankind and the closest to him is the one that causes the greatest temptations. One of them comes after being sent and he says, I did not leave so and so until he committed such and such. Iblis looks at him and says, you have done nothing. You have done nothing. Then another comes. And says, I did not leave so and so until I made him separate from his wife. So he draws him close to him and says, how fine are you? How fine you are? How good you are? Because he destroyed between a husband and a wife. But the other one could not do so. He probably caused some tension, some friction between the two, but he could not destroy the relationship between the two. He could not cause division. So he was not as good as the latter. Dear brothers and sisters, every single human being, every single jinn is in a continuous battle. A battle like no other battle. It's not like you're on the battlefield and fighting the enemy which you can see. This battle is from the day that we were born to the day that we die. The battle with the ugly, two-horned, deceiving liar, the accursed Iblis alayhi maistahikku min Allah ta'ala. He approaches man, not from the front and that's it, no. From the left, from the right, from the front and from the back. And from high and from low. He approaches man on every occasion, time and place. He has made the earth that we are walking on the borders of his battlefield. He enters the soul of man, this accursed shaitan. Beautifies disobedience to man. Carrying nothing, wallahi, but false promises and glimmering desires. You know, you say something that glimmers. Iblis and his army. They poison, they poison their victims. They poison the heart, they blacken the heart. By beautifying the ugly. By beautifying the evil by beautifying the wickedness. But why? Why does he want to beautify for us gambling, or cheating, or procrastination, or woman, or illicit intercourse, or riba, or music, or any other evil? Why? What's he after? What have we done to him? Iblis is going to hellfire. He wants every single human being to be thrown in a hot pit of fire and prevented from the gardens of bliss. It is nothing but a struggle. A struggle with man for dominance. That's all it is. He knows he's going to hellfire. Thus he wants all humanity and all jinn to follow him. So he will work on you. And he will work on you. And wallahi, he does not despair. 
He does not tire. He does not give up. If he cannot drive you to kufr or to shirk, to major sin. Not to major sin, to minor sin. And he will work and work and work until he glues you, glues you to him. And then he will drive you with him on the day of resurrection due to you following him into hellfire. Thus, destruction. For this the same person, the man with rationality, with common sense, must be on his guard, his utmost power against this enemy, this accursed, who has placed, manifested his enmity ever since the creation of Adam. And desiring nothing, our brothers and sisters, but to corrupt your iman, your belief, and wreak havoc in your life. We must fortify ourselves against this enemy. And the only way, wallahi, we can ever, ever do this. You know, a lot of us say, wallah, I'm powerful. I'm strong against the shaitan. But when he goes outside, the devil has beaten him. Whether it is the gaze which is haram. Whether it is gambling, smoking a cigarette, drinking alcohol. Sittings or gatherings of obscenity and decency. Yet he says, no, I'm powerful. The shaitan's got no chance against me. Then what's he doing? He has defeated you. As for the person who fulfills the obligations of the Almighty Lord, after the obligation, this is the guard, this is the weapon we are talking about. This is the ammunition and the only ammunition that you can ever use to beat, to defeat this accursed. First and foremost, by fulfilling Allah's obligations. Then, by fulfilling the optional duties, whether it is prayer, fasting, hajj, umrah, remembrance. Wherever you walk, subhanallah, alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, wherever you walk, always freshen your tongue with the remembrance of Allah Ta'ala. And the shaitan, wallahi, will weaken and weaken and weaken because whoever possesses a strong faith, wallahi, will belittle him and belittle him and destroy him. Look at Umar ibn Khattab radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, the great caliph, the great khalifa. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said about this man, Certainly, O oh Umar, I see the devil fleeing from you. O oh Umar, what are you doing? I see the devil fleeing from you. It's only a small little thing, hiding from Umar. This is the devil of Umar. That is connected to Umar. Karino. But he ran away from Umar. Allahu Akbar. Imagine your shaitan running away from you. Allah is beautiful, isn't it? Get the hammer and belt him. <laughs> but the only way you can do that is how? By fulfilling Allah's law and no other. The greatest way to defeat this accursed is seeking protection, seeking refuge, seeking shelter in the Almighty Lord. In Rabbil Alameen, Rabbil Falaqah, Rabbil Nas, in the Lord of Daybreak, in the Lord of Men, in the Lord of Creation.